Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video. I'm working on some photos from New York. This is the Columbia University campus. My friend works there and so we decided to just go explore. I met her up there while she was on a long lunch and it was a really fun experience because I'd never done it before in all the other times I'd been in New York. I have two four by eight layouts here and I've already picked out my pictures and where I want them. So really it's just adding embellishments. There won't be any journaling on here because I have other pictures from different places at Columbia. So this is kind of it. So hopefully it'll go pretty fast. And I actually finished my Chicago album recently and I have a bunch of stuff left that I didn't use. So I went through it, picked out the ones that I might be able to use for New York and kept those here. So I have those at the ready. Also some cards. I won't need them for this layout, but I have them because I figured they're both big cities. Why not just drop them into my New York stuff if, if it's possible? And then I also decided to just hang on to these stickers because these colors match with a lot and they're very generic. So I can point to many different things. Actually, this blue looks really good right here. So I have those as well. So we'll just see what I put together here. Because I had some green in here, I thought maybe I would try to bring out that a little bit. So I pulled out from this pile of stuff, I pulled out these things that had green in them. I kind of like this one because it's got a little blue as well, but I'm not sure it works for this because like city life, I mean, people that live in the city aren't going to just like walk through Columbia every day. That's, that's not a normal, <laughs> it's not a normal thing unless you live right there. So I'm not sure I want to use that one. Same with this one that says like big city. I think I'd rather save that for something else, but the rest of these might be okay. This one says favorite photo. I do like this photo a lot, so I wouldn't be opposed to doing that. And I like that it's a little bit brighter. The grass is a little darker, but I like this. It lightens it up. But I also have this one, which is closer to that color. And it just says magical, which is true. It feels weird when you're there. This is the St. Paul Chapel on the Columbia campus. When you're there, it does feel a little odd to realize like, oh, I'm smack in the middle of New York City. Upper West Side, like the streets are busy, right behind here, like out on the street. But in here, it was totally quiet and peaceful, a very different feeling from the chaos of the city. So I do like that. And then I also have this one that I could maybe just hang over the top or the side on one of these. I'm not sure. But these are kind of my top three contenders. And that doesn't mean I can't use other things, but I'm just liking the idea of it. The other thing is, is I do have kind of a cream color in here. It works well with the stone and everything. So I might be able to work that in somewhere else as well, but we'll see. I have decided to use this one that says magical. So I've adhered that, but I'm going to just add in a staple. There we go. So that's done. And then I need to think of something for down here, I think. This isn't bad, but it's just a lot of wasted space. And I could add something here while still being able to see the green. I'm thinking maybe something white because of this background. I need to, I feel like I need to pull that out anyway from the photo. So I'm going to look for just a phrase label or something that has a white background and actually like blue font might not even be bad because of what I've got going here. I could also do black if I really wanted to because this background here is black. So it wouldn't be crazy to do that. So I'm just going to look through my stuff and see what might work down there. So I have found something in my black and white stuff, but I'm unsure how to do it exactly. I have this. I love that it says wander because that's exactly what we did. We just wandered around the campus looking at the different buildings and stuff and, and filled our time before going to lunch. And I like it down here, but I feel like it's too dark. So I'm wondering, do I just need to put like a shorter strip of white here and then put the black on top? I'm thinking that's the best solution. Then I get a little of both. I get the white I wanted. I get black to match this. I'm just a little worried it's going to take up too much. I really wouldn't want that much of a border to show that's that's white. So maybe I'll just find a scrap piece of white cardstock, put it on top and see what I think of how it looks. 
I have two strips here that I cut. They were actually together, or sorry, this way. And I just decided to cut them one smaller, one a little bit larger to see what I liked. And I don't think I like that at all. It's way too wide. It's too much white. It covers almost the entire thing. But this section, it's cutting it a little close. I probably shouldn't have gone quite so narrow, but it would work. I like it better than this. And then I can just tear off the end. So actually, let's do it here. So if I have, maybe I'll do this. I can put a staple in there too. And then so I would tear it maybe like here. Oops. I definitely like that better. So that would sit like that. Yep, you know what? I like it. I'm going to go with that. And voila, there it is. It's attached. I love the way that looks. And I think I'm just going to take this. I am going to overlap it like so from the top. I think that makes a nice visual triangle. But I need something there. So I'm going to pull out my New York stamps and just see if there's something I can fit in there. If a New York specific thing doesn't work, then I can just do something that's more general travel stuff. So I have pulled out my New York City stamps that I have and <laughs> I realized, so I have this one and it gives the different burrows. The five burrows are all on there. However, there's no Sam set that I can remember seeing. I certainly don't have it, but I don't even remember seeing one that has the different neighborhoods of New York. I would actually love a stamp set that had that, that said like Upper West Side, Upper East Side, Fidei, Chelsea, um, Hell's Kitchen, like that, because this would be really nice if I had a stamp set that said Upper West Side. Now, I could shorten it. A lot of people just say UWS. I could shorten it and maybe stamp that there. I'm considering it. I do have some small alpha uh, stamps that I could use, but I also have this one. That would fit on there. It'd be tight, but it would fit. So I'm considering that too. So I'm gonna keep that one out, put the rest of these away. And then I need to get out some tiny, tiny alpha stamps to see what I can fit in there. Well, I thought I had some teeny tiny letter stamps and it turns out I don't. I used to. I think I must have given those away when I was purging some stamps because these are the three smallest I have and they're all too big. I tried holding this up and they're just, they're going to be too wide. So can't use those. I think I do have maybe some alpha stickers that might fit, but again, if not, then I can just do the one that says I love NYC and call it good. All right, I pulled out some alphas. I think I'm going to go with this one. They're pretty tall, but they're narrow, which helps me because width is really the problem here in order to fit it in this circle. And I looked, I do have W, I have a U, I have an S. So I have all the things I need. So that's my plan, and I just hope it works out. So as I was doing this, <laughs> after all that, I realized technically... Columbia is just north of the Upper West Side. I believe most people consider the boundary to be 110th, which is a little south of Columbia. Like when I got off, I used, I think it was the 116th stop, but it's only a few blocks out. So you know what? I'm not going to redo this and change it to anything else. I'm just going to keep it. So hopefully, if you're a New Yorker and you see that I've called this the Upper West Side, you're not offended. All right, I have attached that and I cut off the extra that I don't need. I'm going to put in a staple there and let's see how it looks here. Get all this crap out of my way. There we go. So I have that. I feel like I don't like this up here. Do I need to cut it and like put it on a background paper? Like I could do green, whoops, I could do green behind it maybe? Or should I just leave it alone? It's always so hard to tell. I'm gonna go off camera and think about it for a minute. I found two pieces of scraps here in my bag of green stuff. And actually I think this is a four by six from an old, old CM mat stack. 
set, if I'm not mistaken. This is just regular cardstock. Looking at these, I think they would both work. This is a closer match to that. This is a closer match to this. I think I like the brighter because if you look closely in the photo, there is some darker green here, like an olive green. And I think this would give probably some better contrast. So I think I am going to cut this down just a little bit, a little bit on each side, and then make this a four by four and put them together. All right, so here's this one with the green in the background and the cropped photo. I love that. I like it so much better than it was just the photo alone. And now I think this one is done. And really, I didn't do a whole lot. Like, there's nothing fancy here, but I really like the way that it came together. So here's another one finished for New York. Thanks for watching.